In this figure, a circle center O, and a quarter circle PQS, are inscribed in a square PQRS. If PS, is 8 units, and the length of this line segment is X. Find the value of X. Note that. This diagram is not drawn to scale. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to pause the video and give it a try, and tell us your answer in the comment section. To solve this problem, first let's label this point A and B. Next, let's observe that. A B, is a chord to both the circle and the quarter circle. So, if we draw a perpendicular bisector of chord AB, from the center of the quarter circle P, the perpendicular bisector will also pass through the center O of the circle. Reason The perpendicular bisector of any chord passes through the center of the circle. Let's this point BM. Since PM bisects line AB, which is X, it follows that. AM is equal to X over 2, likewise MB. Extending this perpendicular bisector to R will give us the diagonal of the square PR. Next let's focus on triangle PRS. Since each interior angle of a square is 90 degrees, it follows that triangle PRS is a right triangle. From Pythagoras' theorem, PR squared is equal to PS squared plus rs squared. ps is equal to 8. and rs is equal to 8. Reason. Both are side length of the square. Substituting these values in the formula will give us pr squared is equal to 8 squared plus 8 squared. 8 squared is equal to 64. 64 plus 64 is equal to 128. So, PR squared is equal to 128. Taking the square root of both sides will give us PR is equal to 8 root 2. Next, let's join AO with a straight line and AP with another straight line. And we will have two right triangles. Triangle AOM and triangle APM. Going further, let's observe that. AO is the radius of the circle. Since the diameter of the circle is equal to the side length of the square, which is equal to 8, it follows that the radius AO of the circle will be 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 4. Also, AP is the radius of the quarter circle which is equal to the side length of the square that is 8. Now, let's focus on triangle AOM. In triangle AOM, let OM be Y. From Pythagoras' theorem, AO squared is equal to AM squared plus OM squared. AO is equal to 4. AM is equal to X over 2. And OM is equal to Y. Substituting these values in the formula will give us 4 squared is equal to X over 2 squared plus Y squared. Simplifying this will give us 16 is equal to X squared over 4 plus y squared. Let this be equation 1. Next, let's focus on triangle APM. In triangle APM, let's observe that. PO is the half of the diagonal PR. Since the diagonal is 8 root 2, it follows that. PO is equal to 8 root 2 over 2 which is equal to 4 root 2. Since APM is a right triangle, from Pythagoras' theorem, AP squared is equal to AM squared plus PM squared. AP is equal to 8. 
AM is equal to X over 2. And PM is equal to 4 root 2 plus y. Substituting these values in the formula will give us 8 squared is equal to x over 2 squared plus 4 root 2 plus y squared. Simplifying this will give us 64 is equal to x squared over 4 plus 32 plus 8 root 2y plus y squared. If we take 32 to the right side, we will have 64 minus 32 is equal to x squared over 4 plus 8 root 2y plus y squared, which will give us 32 is equal to x squared over 4 plus 8 root 2y plus y squared. Let this be equation 2. Next, let's subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Thirty two minus sixteen is equal to sixteen. X squared over four will cancel out. Y squared will equally cancel out. And we are left with sixteen is equal to eight root two Y. Next, we divide through by 8 root 2. Doing so will leave us with y is equal to 2 over root 2. To rationalize the denominator, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 2. And this will give us y is equal to 2 root 2 over 2. 2 will cancel out 2. And we are left with y is equal to root 2. Now to find x. Let's substitute y with root 2 in equation 1. Doing so will give us 16 is equal to x squared over 4 plus root 2 squared. Root 2 squared is 2. And we have 16 is equal to x squared over 4 plus 2. If we take 2 to the left side, we will have x squared over 4 is equal to 16 minus 2. 16 minus 2 is 14. And we are left with x squared over 4 is equal to 14. By cross multiplication, we will have x squared is equal to 14 times 4. Fourteen times four is fifty-six. So, x squared is equal to fifty-six. Taking the square root of both sides will give us x is equal to two root fourteen. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.